Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm back after a year-long hiatus. Um, today I will be filming a Thanksgiving cranberry and gold look for you guys. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. Alright, so first I'm going to start off with some Blistax, keep my lip nice and moisturized. Um, you know, it's getting a little cold outside and don't want no crusty crust up in here. So I'm going to follow up with some vitamin E oil and um, I'm just going to put that over my face and I'm going to use a uh, napkin to just wipe off uh, the excess off my brows. And I'm going to be using the NYX or NYX um, Dip Brow Promade in black. And I'm going to just uh, brush out my eyebrows with a spoolie and um, use a angled um, brush to fill in my brows. Um, my brows are pretty full. I do need to pluck them, but <laughs> that will be another video how I maintain them. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to start off not uh, directly in the front of my eyebrows because you don't want uh, you don't want there to be a harsh line there. I'm going to start off like um, a little bit behind and I usually just start at the bottom and just carry on and when I'm done making the line at the bottom, I head over to the top and just make another line <laughs> and just fill in my brows basically. Um, I don't like to use too much product because um, then when you go, go in with a concealer to clean it up, it gets messy. Um, I'm brushing out my eyebrows with the spoolie. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my other brow and I don't know why but I always start this one off at the top and the other one off at the bottom. I really don't know why but it just happens. Um, <laughs> so yeah, basically just going to do the same thing I did on the other side. Um, just fill in your brows basically. Um, and I like to feather in, make like small little brush strokes um, with the um, brush poking up at the beginning of my brows to uh, get it get get it like a uh, feathery look. So now I'm going to just use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 35 to um, clean up the underneath my brows because this is way too light for a regular concealer. And yeah, I'm just going to like like you just saw, I'm just going to dab it at the back of my hand and uh, with a small brush, I um, just clean up my brows. I start at the underneath and I like to put the excess um, at the arch of my brow and then I just start at the beginning and just use small little strokes to clean up my brow. And I'm just going to head over to the other um, eyebrow and just do the same thing. Small little strokes to remove the excess off the brush on the arch of the brow and begin at the beginning of the brow and just clean it up basically. Um, yeah. And I'm using a lighter shade than I usually would um, just so, um, well, because I'm doing a dramatic eye look. Um, usually if I'm just doing like an everyday look, I'll just use my normal concealer shade because I don't need, um, you know, that lightness or brightness on my lid or underneath my brow or anything like that. So yeah, moving on, I'm going to grab the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer in the number 30, which doesn't make any sense because it's darker than the other one, which is 35. Anyways, uh, Maybelline, fix that. I'm going to use that to clean up the top of my brows and... I'm just using the same little brush that I used before um, and you just want to be careful like um, as you see me wiping off you know the excess here because you don't want like angel eyebrows we left that in 2015 that's gonna stay in 2015 we're moving on better things here and I'm just gonna do the same exact thing to the other eyebrow um, and just clean it off with my pinky finger basically And um, I'm just going to grab the excess um, concealer that's on my hand and I'm just going to wipe that, well, I'm going to um, apply it on my lid 
going to take some more and blend it out with my finger um, to warm up the product. I always like blending out um, concealers on my eyebrows with my fingers. I really don't know why. Just preference. Um, yeah, so just make sure uh, it's not blotchy or anything like that so you get a nice ev uh, even coverage for your um, eyeshadows to come out nice and pigmented. All right, so I'm just going to grab a fluffy brush and I'm going to grab, I'm just going to go into my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to take the color Red Ochre and I'm going to apply that on my crease with the fluffy brush basically. And I'm just um, packing it on at first because I don't want to glide it on because I didn't set the concealer because I just wanted a vibrant red. Um, so yeah, just pack that on and once you got like the base of your crease covered basically you could go ahead and use a swiping motion rather than a padding motion and there's really no need to rush unless I guess you're in a rush but <laughs> just take your time and basically just yeah take your time really no need to rush um and just make sure that you blend because that's what's really gonna make the look a look Blending is key. Don't forget. Um, so next, I'm going to go in with my Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. And I'm going to take the color Peaches and Cream. And I'm going to apply that right underneath the arch of my eyebrow um, as a highlight. Um, yeah, an eyebrow highlight. And basically uh, to blend out that red as well. Because I don't want it too high up on my eyelid. <laughs> um... And I'm using that same brush um, just because I don't, I don't want the white to be too white, um, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I'm just using that same brush and I'm just going to brush it out and blend everything together. And just like I said, make sure that you're blended and see, looks like a nice little ombre. Pay no attention to the mess below the eyes though. I'm going to be fixed soon. <laughs> So I'm just going to go back into the Modern Renaissance palette, the same color, red ochre, and just um, brighten up the um, the crease, I guess, and the outer edges, um, just to make sure that any fallout that I did have from the white, or if I went um, too low on the white, I didn't take away any of the color. Um, I'm just going to take a small little brush and I'm going to use the color Cypher's Umber and I'm going to apply that at the outer corner of my eyes. And I'm just going to apply a little bit because after I go back in with a cut crease, I'm going to go back in again and apply some more. But I just want to darken it up a little bit now um, to help build. And I'm going to go back in with the red ochre and blend that right on top and blend it in with everything. So next I'm going to go ahead with the um, Maybelline Concealer in 35, which is which is the lighter one. And I'm just going to wipe off any excess that's like on the brush because I don't want it to be too messy. Um, you don't want to apply too much. You want to work with a little bit at a time and just take your time um, at this part because you don't really want to mess up the whole look, have to wipe everything off and start over again. Um, so yeah. Um, as you see, like I apply a little bit at the base of my eyelid next to my eyelashes and I just open up my eyes just to basically measure out, um, how big my cut, cre my crease should be. Um, and I have like a little bit of a hooded eye situation. So you do want to be careful of where you put your cut crease cause you want to be able for a people to see it and B for when you actually open up your eyelid, um, it doesn't transfer on top to the red that I have there. Um, I'm going to grab the same brush that I use to clean up my eyebrows and I'm just going to go in and use small little strokes um, and clean up the corners of uh, the cut crease and actually make it a cut crease. <laughs> I'm not taking this out to the outer edges of my eyelids because I want to go ahead and dark you darken that up with... Um, the red and that brown from the Modern Renaissance palette, like I said before. So 
So yeah, I'm just taking my time and just making sure that like the line is as precise as can be. And I'm gonna take my MAC highlighter in Golden Deposit and I'm gonna use a fluffy brush just to apply that basically. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the color Primavera in the um, Modern Renaissance palette as well, just to give it a little bit more of a pop. And I'm just gonna pat that right on top of the concealer. Um, like I said, you don't wanna use any type of wiping motions or anything like that because you don't want to spread this out you just want to pack on that color and make sure it's as vibrant as can be i'm going to do the same thing to the other side and i like to do if i'm doing a dramatic eye i like to do it before i apply my um, concealer just to make sure i get to clean up the outer edges and to make sure if i have any fallout i'll be able to clean it much easier so now i'm taking red ochre again and with the small little pencil brush or whatever um, I'm just going to clean up the edges basically um, where a little bit transferred from when I was packing it on and just like I said making sure that your cut crease is a cut crease nice and sharp um, yeah now I'm gonna go back in with a brown like I said I was going to do earlier um, <laughs> and apply that on the outer corner and I'm going to apply that a little bit where the um, concealer actually stopped just so it actually picks up that pigment really well. And I'm back with a fleshy, fluffy brush, I'm going to go back in with that red color and right on top of the brown, I'm just going to blend it all out. Um, and yeah, just take your time doing it. Just make sure everything's nice and blended. And I'm just going to take my time with a fluffy brush and just blend out everything. Make sure um, that there's not a harsh uh, transition between the gold and the darker outer edge. And I'm just going to like right in the middle, I guess, um, of the dark, of that dark brown and the gold. I'm going to pack on that red. And it's not going to be a vibrant red, but it's going to just blend those two colors out really well. Um, and I'm just going to go back in to uh, Primavera and just pack that on my eyelids again, just to give it a little, little bit more of a boost. And now I'm just going to take some of my um, Ambi Fade Cream and just pop that on my freaking scars because I'm a klutz. I'm going to take my Prolong Concealer in the color Toffee and highlight the underneath my eyes. Um, and I'm just going to like draw out a sharp line, not a sharp line, but a line, I guess, with the concealer um, on the outer corner of my eyelids, well, my eyes, um, just to clean up the eye look. I'm going to apply a little bit where I have another scar of when I went to go steal some rice. Um, after my mom cooked late at night and yeah, karma got me basically. Um, <laughs> I'm going to apply that on the stash and I'm going to go in with the baby beauty blender first and it's going to blend out in between my eyes. Um, well, eyebrows and the small amount that I have on my forehead. And after I'm going to go in with the larger beauty blender and just make sure that's blended out. But for now, I just like using the small one. And yeah, using the damp beauty blender, I just go in underneath and make sure to be careful when you're blending out the outer corner because you don't want to mess up the eye look, the sharpness that you were just, you know, going for it um, and just blend. And I'm just going to blend out the stash area and on my nose underneath the nose I look wild crazy but it's a process <laughs> and we're just gonna um, continue 
blending out the concealer and I'm going to blend it out um, on the bridge of my nose as well as on my forehead as well where I um, blended it out originally with the smaller beauty blender. All right, now time for contour. I'm going to take, well, I don't know the shade anymore because the back fell off. Um, so I'm going to take a brown shade. I think it was mahogany, but I'm not too positive in the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm just going to use that to contour my nose. Um, I do the bottom. I do a little line at the top tip of my nose and on the sides of my nose as well and cover up my scar just using the baby beauty blender and to blend that all out i like to use the baby beauty baby beauty blender because it's like really small and precise um and it gets the perfect little that uh, gives me the perfect contour nose contour that i like anyways okay just kidding that other color was mahogany this one that i'm using to contour my cheeks is mahogany so whatever that shade was um <laughs> So I'm going to take mahogany, the darker brown, and I'm going to just apply that on my cheeks and contour my face, get rid of the chub, get me nice and snatched. Um, and I'm using the other side of the beauty blender, not the side that I applied my concealer with, uh, just to blend that all out. now I'm just flipping it over to the side that I did apply the concealer with just to go um, over, not over, but really close to the nose contour and just clean up the edges basically and just make sure everything's set uh, correctly and blended good. Now using the um, Airspun um, loose powder, it smells so good. Anyways, um, it's probably one of the best drugstore um, powders that I've used. Um, yeah, so just using that and I'm using just like a small little tapered fluffy brush to pat that into my skin. I don't like baking with this powder because I feel like it leaves me way too ashy, like way too ashy. And um, I find that sometimes when I do bake with it, it gives me like flashback. Um, so yeah, when I use the patting method, I have absolutely no problems with it. So that's what I'm going to stick to. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply that everywhere that I applied my highlight shades, as well as on the bridge of my nose and my chin. And then I'm going to take my contour brush. And this um, this is actually a, con a eyebrow powder. Um, it's a Maybelline one in the color Mocha, I believe. And I'm just going to use that as a contour. I like to use this as like the sharp, hollow, like the illusion of like, you know, the sharpness and hollowness of the cheeks. It's like a cool contour. And then right on top, um, I go in with warmer shades to warm up my face. Um, so yeah, I'm just applying some on the other side of my face and make sure that you blend this out. You definitely don't want your contour to be muddy or anything like that so just make sure you take your time out to contour I mean <laughs> make sure you take your time out to blend it out well and I'm just taking a um I always forget the name stipple brush that's the name I'm taking a stipple brush and I'm going to use the same red that I used on my eyes to warm up my face and I like using this as a con on top of my contour because like I said not only does it warm up my face but it also it's it's a dark red and so it also I use it like as a blush and a contour um <laughs> yeah and now um I'm going into the toothpaste Too Faced palette with the color summer yum and I'm using this as a blush and I'm going to blend this out, adding to, you know, the warmth that I wanted. 
and I I don't know I always just sweep it across my nose so I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush in the color pure or puree and for the same Too Faced palette and just blend that out um well not blend just contour out my nose um and I pinch the tip of the brush to do the um bridge of my nose like across from it now I'm just gonna go back in with my air spun powder and my beauty blender and just cut that contour nice and sharp yeah and I'm gonna go on to the other side and do the exact same thing I noticed a huge difference not huge but like a big difference in my face when I don't do this as opposed to when I do do this um it just makes you more snatched basically and it cleans up any muddiness or any mess that you might have made and it also sets that concealer that I applied earlier um and now I'm just going to use a smaller beauty blush to do the same exact thing but to my nose and I do, and I blow off the excess because like I said I don't want there to be a white cast next to my nose compared to the rest of my face that's just going to be a weird situation and I'm all set <laughs> so I'm gonna go and apply some uh, mascara I'm gonna use the better than sex and the roller lash mascara and I applied some lashes off camera too and I'm just um like you know when the corners are stuck to the inner corner I'm just removing that glue and going in with the brown color in the lawyer in the modern renaissance palette and i'm going to use that to blend out underneath my eyes and yeah it just kept getting in my eye i find that this shade particularly has like the worst fallout compared to any other shade in the palette but whatever um and i'm just gonna go in with the red shade and on top of the brown and the rest of my eyes well, the bottom of my eye i'm just gonna use that red shade to blend it out and yeah i do the exact same thing to the other eye Now I'm going to take a big fluffy brush to remove the excess powder that I have on my face. Um, I like to start off um, underneath where I have the contour. And I like to just go over um, my contour just to make sure that like the, I like a sharp line, but not too sharp. Like, <laughs> so I just like to go over that line and um, just, you know, blend it in a little bit. Now I'm just using the clear um, Maybelline mascara to set my eyebrows. And in the beginning, like I do with the pencil, I like to just brush it up and get those hairs nice and like flicked up at the beginning of my eyebrow. And yeah, just brush them into place. Notice the difference. Like it just, and it adds color back into your eyebrow, I find. And now I'm going to move on to mascara underneath my eyelashes, well, on my bottom lashes, I should say. And I'm just going to take the Better Than Sex mascara and do those up. I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild, con I mean, my Wet n Wild um, black eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. It's the best liquid eyeliner I've used. Um, and I'm just going to add in my beauty marks. And I'm going to remove the excess bliss sticks that I have on my lips with a um, napkin. And before I um, outline my lips, I'm going to um, highlight them with a golden deposit. And I'm just going to go in with chestnut, um, max chestnut lip liner all around my lips. And I'm not going to fill in the color with my lip. Um, I actually really hate doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to use... Copenhagen, Copenhagen, 
Copenhagen, Copenhagen from NYX, um, <laughs> clearly can't pronounce it, um, for a nice dark red lip, not too dark, but a nice red lip. And this like applies like a suede, but dries matte after a while is weird, but it doesn't leave your lips super, super dry, which I like. It just takes a while to dry, which is a little weird, but yeah, I'm just going to fill in my lips and, um, yeah, I like to like overline my lips a little bit because I wish they were full there and they're not. So we're going to overline it because that's all we got. <laughs> and I'm just going to make my lips look a little bit more fuller than they actually are. That's why I did the, um, highlight previous to applying the lipstick and I'm just going in blending with the, um, the um, stippled brush. I always want to call it a tapered brush. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm just going in with the stippling brush and just blending out everything basically um, and adding a little bit more color to the cheeks, a little bit more of that red from the Too Faced palette, that Summer Yum. And I'm literally sitting there like, what the, What am I forgetting? Like, highlight, duh, important part. Um, I'm taking Moonstone from the Anastasia Sunkiss palette and mixing that in with the Matte Golden Deposit for a highlight shade. Um, Moon, Moonstone is just too silvery for me. Um, and I don't really like silver highlights because I have like a warm tone. I like golden highlights, so that's why I like to mix the two. Um... But for the inner tear duct, I used more Moonstone than I did Golden Deposit. And using a small little tapered brush, I'm going to just apply that, um, the highlight combo on my lips. And I do two lines at the top of my lips um, just to accentuate uh, the Cupid's bow that I don't have. <laughs> And for my nose highlight, um, I start at the tip of the nose and I just draw up and yeah, just use my pinky and blend it. That's a much better word. And I'm going to just go back in with that same contour shade that I did uh, for my nose. And I'm just going to clean up that nose contour and make sure that my nose doesn't look crooked in the light or anything like that and just clean up the sides. Um, favorite part, um, I'm going to just take, this is actually a contour brush, but this is a horrible contour brush, but it is an amazing highlight brush. I'm just going to highlight my face using the combo Moonstone and Golden Deposit, and we're going to glow. I'm going to make sure that we're seen to the heavens and just glow. Next cheek. I just wanted y'all to see that and go. <laughs> I'm just going to apply this. All over my cheeks. Perfect, 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 perfect. Just gonna continue adding, you know, because is there a such thing as too much highlight? I don't think so. I'm gonna go back in with the stippling brush and I'm just going to um, blend out like the cheek area and like um, underneath where my contour and blush is. Um, just to make sure that there's no harsh lines, to make sure once again you blend and it's a gradient and I'm taking the flat three brush and basically just doing the same thing. I'm just going over with the same um, lipstick as before and basically just cleaning up any like imperfections that I saw um, and just going over it again. And just making my lips, like I said, a little bit more fuller, as you can see. Well, or not, because I like to block the freaking thing for whatever reason. So yeah, this is the finished look. And I'm just going to go and apply my wig. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this video, and stay tuned. I will be posting. I'll Before I said every week, and that was not possible, but I already have a um, simple get ready with me look filmed. Um... And I will be posting that next week. So stay tuned. And once again, thank you for watching. Bye, guys.